Okay, well welcome back to another episode of Bailiwick Fishing. Make sure before you start watching, you hit the like and subscribe button. That will ensure that you get notifications for all the videos. Anyway, we're back out with Damien today. You'll probably recognize this from a previous video with the tractor and the little dinghy. So we're gonna go out and put some bait nets. So I'll give you a run through the boat. It's a 12 foot super dinghy. And uh, they're actually, I think weren't the molds done over here? Yeah, they were. So mate. they've been built in Guernsey. They're really strong little boats. You can see there's no seat or anything here. So when I'll be filming, it'll probably be from here. And Damien will be at the back with the motor. It's a 9.8 Tahatsu four stroke. And uh, yeah, cracking boats. It's got all the gear on. He's got all his electrics just here, here, and everything else. There you go. I'm putting the nets on board now. What's the net size? On these. This one's four and a quarter inch. There you go guys, four and a quarter inch. So yeah, we got the tractor. This is the way we're gonna get the boat transported down to the beach. She's a Massey Ferguson and she does the job. Look at that. So just while we're still on dry land, I'll just give you a show of the net. Obviously Damien said it's a bait net, so he's looking to catch some uh, pot bait for his crab pots. He's got a nice boat in the uh, bay just around the corner in Perel. You'll be seeing that. So these are the floats for the um, for the net, the spinners, obviously the rope and the buff. Now these are the anchor. He's got one each side and that keeps it um, down on the seabed. So yeah, we're gonna get these out. It looks like he's got two by the look of it. to jump on. Let's go. sort of thing you see at the petrol pumps but this is what you do Damien's gonna fill up the boat engine with some petrol anyway guys just hopped over the wall from the petrol station you can see how close it is here this is just an example of what things are like in Guernsey petrol station and the tractor is gonna drive out of here and drive straight down the slip and there we go now, you probably see some of these boats. If you can pick it out on the camera, the furthest one out is Damien's big boat. And what he does is he, he fishes around here in the summer, and then in the winter months, he takes it round the, um, round the coast of Guernsey to St. Peterport, um, which is the East Coast, which is where my boat is. And uh, basically, he fishes out of there. One of the reasons being is that you can't get insured here all year round. I believe it's from April to October, and after that, it's at your own risk, so no one does that. Damien's just back in the tractor, so you'll see shortly he's going to come across the road. We're going to get this net out tonight. It's a lovely evening, nice and calm, and then we're going to come in tomorrow morning and hopefully have some bait fish in it.
the things I do for you guys, look, up to my knees in it. Simple as that. He's going to park the tractor at the top. He's going to walk back through, and we're going to hop in. Nice view. Hey, our Damien's priming up the fuel. Perfect. Got to get my backside in before I fall over the side. That's one sharp push. Now you can see Damien's just got the engine there, uh, trimmed up as they'd say, because there ain't much water below us. Are you giving the seaweed a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely like a sheet of glass. Look at that. For any of you locals that are interested, this is Parallel Bay. So the beauty of this little super ding is that you can go right in close to the rocks and reefs and uh, there's not much draw on the bottom of the boat. So we're going to try and... Are you going to go with some reefs? Yeah, yeah. Damien's going to put the, uh, the net right over the reefs in the hope of some rock fish or pollock or something like that. So we're in, uh, how much How much water we in? We're at 20 foot of water. I can clearly see the bottom down there. You won't be able to pick it up on the camera, but I can see it. And uh, Damien grew up around here on this, uh, on this beach, so he knows it like the back of his hand. So there we go, it's the first buff out. You can see it, he's got it to the, just to the side of that uh, pole there, and that's basically keeping away that the rope away from the engine, you'd have seen that on my boat when I put the pots out. And now, he's going to drag the buff, wait for the correct spot, and start feeling the net out. I don't know if you can pick that up down there, but there's the bottom. There goes the anchor. And there's the net starting to feed out. So the net is uh, how long, sorry? 300, 300 foot. 300 yeah, 300 foot. <laughs> There's the other anchor, so that's the other end of the net. So that's one done already, it's as quick as that. Second one's just here. What are you thinking about for this one? Uh, I don't know, I thought about going the other side. Okay. So he's going to now try the other side of the bay. One on the left, one on the right. We're going to go and have a look. So there's a little cormorant here, guys. He's, he's probably checking out. It's just a sand area around here. So he's uh, probably after a few sand eels. And this is a great spot I fish. You can see there's a bit of a line here. And I don't know if you're able to pick it up, but you'll see the tide changes. There's the bottom, there's the sand. And there's a massive causeway here. And it's good fishing um, either side of it.
Damien's just got to uh, grab an item off his boat. So we're going to pull up alongside Amber Dawn. How many pots are you doing aboard your... Uh, At the moment we're doing 80. 80. Beautiful. Yeah. Job done, we're off. So there we go, that's both knots out. We're gonna head back ashore now. So as the tide's dropping guys, my job is to make sure that the boat does not dry out because that will be a faux pas, also known as a balls up. <laughs> Tractor sparked up into action, we're going to back down and we're going to hook her on, up the slip and back home. There we go, while Damien's doing that, I'm gonna say thanks for watching part one. Make sure you don't go anywhere, you'll see part two, and hopefully we can show you some fish. So just to add another difficulty to Damien's tractor work, the road's closed to his house. So typical Guernsey's backing up the road. And watch this for skill. Done that a few times. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully, you're still watching. And welcome back to part two. So, you'll notice there's a bit of a breeze today. Damien's kids are saying goodbye to him as we're about to go on. He's just priming the tractor up. We're going to get the tractor fired up. We're going to hopefully have some fish in these nets. So, it's going to be bait fish. And uh, there we go. So, we'll see you down the boat, guys. We're going to start making our way on the tractor. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you can see that the waters are crystal clear. Absolutely crystal. Um, there's a little bit more of a breeze today, but we're not going to be going far. So uh, it's not going to be a problem. So you can see here, I'm in about, what, halfway up my leg. Um, and the boat is actually floating, so it doesn't need much to get this boat afloat. All these boats around here are, well, apart from Damien's, the boat at the back, 16, 17, 18 foot, all mostly open boats. There is an Orkney 19 down at the back, which is exactly the same as mine. But yeah, all open little boats, and I suppose people just do a little bit of potting around here. So Damien's pulling up the first anchor. We've got the first buff inside. It's pulling up the first anchor of the first net. So hopefully we'll have some bait fish. It's the anchor. So we've got net one up. Um, I'll give you a show. Um, when we get back of the fish that we've had, we've had two bream in that net. We've had a few wrasse. One of them was quite nice. We had a bass, a mackerel. And yeah, it was a bit weedy this one. So hopefully the second net will produce a little bit more. It's a bit closer into the uh, to the reef on the uh, other side of the bay. So we shall see. Damien's just bailing out a bit of water once we pulled those nets up. But yeah, you can see the weed here that you get in the nets quite a lot so we'll uh, we'll bin it off huh? oh yeah <laughs> Okay, so this net looks pretty good. Look at this coming up. Loads of rockfish. Damien's doing the hard work. Some rockfish coming up. Oh, yeah, bass. Mate. Bass. Let's get them all inside. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. There's another one. Oh, We're going to start pulling up. There's another one around my feet. Coming over the top. <laughs> Loads. Sorry for the camera, guys. Is that another one down there? Yeah. Right, we're gonna go pulling this, guys. I'll give you a show. Hey, yeah, guys, check this out. Just went for Damien. Spotted a little man. So yeah, that's us all done with the netting. Damien's gone to get the tractor. I'm looking after the boat. And we're gonna go back up to Damien's house. We're gonna sort through the fish, clean the seaweed. Um, from the nets and uh, we'll give you a good show. But yeah, what a glorious day. And from getting the boat into the water, so from once we've dropped it in, to getting to where we've done the nets, pulling the nets and back, I'd say we've been about 25 minutes. So yeah, the fish are lovely and fresh. Just give you a show while Damien's winching the boat up off the engine. I showed you yesterday, but here's a closer show. So it's a Tahatsu uh, 9.8 four stroke, and it's a long shaft for any of you that are uh, in the know. 
the name of his boat there and that is the Guernsey flag very similar to the uh, English flag apart from we have the yellow crest and there's just some of the electrics that Damien's got on board here today so he's got a fish finder there you've got some electrics these master box there you can see it's all enclosed in a waterproof uh, case and uh, yeah that's his gauge there you'd have seen one of those on my boat for the lobsters the scallops and the spider crabs and stuff like that there's his bilge pumps i'm using that after there's some of his safety equipment there <coughs> and his fuel tank's just under Game with you. We'll grab the bobbers first, mate. Yeah. In here, eh? Yeah. It's got warmer now, though, isn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. It's certainly got temperature on. Okay, so I'll just give you a show of some of the bass that we've got and the rockfish in these nets. So we've got a whole tray here of, oh, there's an escapee. A whole tray here with some wrasse, some fine wrasse in here. Just check the size of that out. What a beauty. And in here, we've got some bass. There's also some mullets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, we're gonna measure them all. And then uh, Damien has got a fishing license. There you go. And then we're gonna, he'll be landing those to the, uh, to the local fish. Thing. We're gonna ice them up as well. Make sure that they're all nicely uh, kept fresh. Okay, so the legal size for a bass is from the tail to the head is in Guernsey 42 centimeters. So from here to 42. So that's what we're looking for, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. So put the tail, uh, the the snout or the nose of the fish at the front, and you can see that one there is. Well over the scale, well it's over 45, so that's in. Nice fish. So that's gonna go straight into the ice box. And we're gonna carry on doing this. From there, 44. So what Damien's doing here is this was the uh, weedy net that we had, and he's pulling the net over a scaffold tube to keep the net straight and also to try and get some of the seaweed. You can see the big pile of seaweed here, and that's the beauty of this. As he's pulling it over, the seaweed, or some of the seaweed, should we say, is dropping over. He's just about to hand me a black bream. Another bream we had. Now I'm just gonna give you a show of the fish. So this is some of the, uh, the bass. There's some really nice bass in there. 27 bass all together. Two bream, a mackerel, a massive tray of rockfish. I mean, check the size of that out. He's a chunk. Um, be, be happy to have that if you caught that on the line. Look at those teeth. Nice close up of the teeth. But yeah, that's gonna be his pot bait. Yeah, and uh, there's a mullet there that can go in, in here. We're gonna ice these down next. And uh, then Damien's gonna take him to the, uh, the uh, basically the wholesaler. So he's gonna uh, land his catch. So we're gonna get, a fin get finished doing this net. Anyway, if you've liked this video, Make sure you click the like button, make sure you subscribe. Also check out my Instagram page, Bailiwick Fishing. Check us out on TikTok, there might be a few of those coming up. And uh, keep, uh, keep watching for future videos. Big thank you to Damien for taking me out. There'll be hopefully more trips in the winter months as well. Take care.